Okay, now, there's probably not a, people that, a lot of people that have a gyromatic transmission. But if you do, and you're unsure of how to drive it, this video will be extremely helpful. Now, I'm not actually going to start the car and do it, just because I put ether in the car to get it running, and I just don't really want to do the hassle right now. But obviously, what you have to do is first just push in the clutch, and then if you want to go forward, you just go up with it. I always kind of push it forward, just kind of push it forward and go up. That puts you in first and second gear. What the gyromatic transmission will do is it will shift between first and second. And then obviously, when it sounds like it needs to be shifted again, you just pull it down. That will put it into third and fourth. Um, then, to sh when, I, when you're driving it and you want to shift it, all you've got to do is just push on the gas as you're, as you're driving, let off the gas for a second, and then get right back on it. And then that'll, that'll just have it shift on its own. But also, if you ever want to go in reverse, pull this thing towards you, just a little. It's, it's basically as far as it can go. But don't yank it, just let it slide towards you, and then push it up. That puts you in reverse. That's the only thing, though, you want to be careful when you're downshifting, is that you're not up here in reverse when you want to be up here, when you want to be down there in first and second. Because, I mean, they're really pretty close together. So... That is how to run a gyromatic transmission. Um, I, they were primarily used, I th believe, just in Dodge and Chrysler vehicles, I guess. I know they were in early 50s. I don't know how, lo how long they ran. Because I have a 50 Dodge Coronet and now this 51 Dodge Coronet. And they both have gyromatic transmissions. They did not use them in 1949. Those were all three on the trees. <clears throat> um, if you have a book came with your vehicle I guess I guess I don't have it with me in here anymore but uh it said the shift pattern in it I have one for my 50 Dodge Coronet and this one I thought had one with it maybe the guy who I bought it from kept it I'm not real sure but uh if you're ever unsure of how to look in that book or obviously get on YouTube and look up a video so that's all for today you probably will be seeing updates on this car and my other Dodge so uh thanks for watching and subscribe